Some people th would think of this as a changing of the guard. I don't believe so. Not oh, just check yet. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ring the bell. Ding, 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 ding. No, get a real bell, you bitches. What do you want us to do, man? You want to fight? Well, no, this You're motherfucker. Oh, Here. There's a bell. I am joined by the Guamish Dragon. He is also a two time heavyweight champion. Dave Doth. Well, and after tonight, it's going to be three. You, you are in the main event, and you are facing I'll Aaron Douglas for the heavyweight here, title. Damn, Get what up. happened to Taylor? Oh. Well, I looked down one second, and he's on the ground. Up, he's holding his head. Up, you get a concussion? You call Taylor made a biatch. Oh, damn, big clothesline. Short arm clothesline right there. He's vicious with those short arms. Because he has short arms. <laughs> big C... He just doesn't understand that people are trying to make a name for themselves. Takes it all personally. You know, Taylor. Taylor was huh? just saying that he stands around and and stuff. Yeah, after the Kevin Nash comments, you, you can tell Big C's feelings were hurt. Yeah, feelings were hurt, and he was fired huh? up. What happened to this? Huh? That, that might be not a good thing. I, I, I don't what think happened? you should be lighting a fire under Big C. Next to kids. Well, I don't huh? know. Sometimes the people here. need their asses to be lit rookies. up and uh, to get motivated. And, uh, oh, yeah. Well, Big C's plenty motivated now. He's got the supreme oh, title to hold on to. Big scoop slam. Oh, wow. my God. He bounced like there was no end to falling. Fucking hate rookies. What? Yeah! I don't know. <laughs> All right. Insane Dusty Rhodes commentator over here, Dave Dawson. If you will. What happened to the rookie? Dave, huh? Big C just rookie. loves talking rookie. shit. He's got the fans on his side, but he's just, you know, still continues to talk shit. Big C is ragtagging. He is ragtagging. Chop. And he's whipping him off the rope. For the this Larry. is for the Supreme title. Oh, oh his patented uh, double arm splash clothesline motherfucking thing. Yeah. Fucking motherfucking thing. Hey, motherfucking thing. That's splash what we're going to call line. it now. We're going to call it the motherfucking splashy thing. Yeah. Splash line. Yeah, it's, a, it's a splash line. This has all been all Big C so far. Big C, uh, as the last show, triple crown winner. The fourth man in WWE to do it. Behind Dave Dawson, Thanks, Eric sir. Drake, and Aaron Douglas. Aaron Douglas did it two shows ago. So, oh, big shoulder tackle. Does not get the harder, big man deck down. Him at all. Big C saying harder, bitch. Two times. Come on, come at me. Oh, and he nice. catches him. And flash. Big wow. slide Impressive. slam. You know, it, it's always the subtle things that she can see and um, and capitalize on. It, things like that. How many puns are you going to make? And, and uh, I, I C can, can see and capitalize. Big capital. The yes. capital C. As, as Drake I, used to call it back that. in the day. <laughs> Big C's been, he's done everything pretty much in WWE, you would think. Uh, he's uh, formed two stables. He was the main member of the original Throwdown. He was the leader of New Throwdown. Two-time heavyweight champion. STO Slam. I tripped my leg. I think the Supreme Title is uh, is it a good thing or a bad thing for him? Well, I think he's made his career come full circle. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, there is definitely a new motivation, I think, uh, to to be a top guy. To be the man. Yes. Because I mean. The Supreme title for a lot of guys, it elevates them to the heavyweight division. You know, it proves their worth and their value. 
But for guys like you and Big C who have won the Supreme title after winning the heavyweight title, it just kind of furthers your legacy, I'd say. Smart move by Taylor working on that knee. Taylor had some pretty impressive game plans in his day. Uh, I remember he used a good one against Humberto, trying to keep him grounded. Taylor himself is a big guy. Yeah, he's no slice. He's doing yeah. uh, you know, drop kicks and... He's and agile for his size. Yeah. Very agile. And he has a good understanding of what's going on. And, and what's he's he's uh, one of the prime members of uh, Next to Kane. You notice how Aaron Douglas, despite the fact that Taylor has lost a decent amount of matches recently, didn't didn't worry about that. I mean, Taylor's not losing the slouches. He lost to you, Humberto, uh, you know, Eric Drake, guys that have been there, heavyweight title champions, former, you know, back in the day. So, I mean, it was Ace that he was concerned with, but Ace came through big time with that that win over the bouncer. And bouncer's specialty match, the falls count anywhere. Taylor's doing a very good job of keeping C down. Uh, that's what you got to do with a, a, a man of C's stature. Uh, a bulldog. bulldog from Big C's knees. And he's trying to get him over. It's difficult. It is difficult. C is I've, I've an had excess to, of 500 pounds. So I've had to try to do that to him before, try to roll him over. It takes a lot of time. You got to imagine at least there's been got at least two or three matches where a normal man would have been pinned. But the extra amount of time it takes to roll him over saved the match for Big C. It's like deadlifting dead weight. That's what deadlifting is. I know. Again, trying to add pun. I, I understand, sir. <laughs> it's been a long time since I commentated you, with you, Mr. Dave. I, I don't remember. It, I, I don't remember either. It's, it's definitely been a while. Indeed, sir. So the 100th show will be Dave Dawson's last match, as he announced a few weeks ago. Yes. It's out in the open. I tried to sign him for as long as I possibly could. The big, longest deal he would do was a, the 100th show. So we got about... 16, 17 matches left with Mr. Dave Dawson here. Uh, the first ever, the only ever Grand Slam champion. The first guy to win four, the four major titles. Thank you, sir. Which is impressive. A lot won, of hard work. Won the hybrid title at a four-way Ironman match at uh, Seasons Beatings. Held it to the last show when CJ Price defeated oh, you. Ah, that was stupid. <laughs> Big C's writhing in pain in his knee. You can see it's all red on, um, I can see it from here. Taylor's trying something here. Chop blocks, oh, he takes him out. What the fuck was he, ah! Taylor's, Taylor's just, you know, got that game plan. is visibly, uh, swollen. Uh, I had a match with Big C a few times, a couple actually. The first time, that was my strategy, take him out by the knee. Because for about the first five minutes, he just decimated me with slams and chops and, uh, you know, he did it with ease, you know. You know, I, 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 I refer to Big C as a tree. No. He is a tree. To, no. As a metaphor, no. to, to get to oh, the no. top, you have no. to cut it down. And that's what Taylor is doing right no. now. You know, he's young. I could see Taylor winning the Supreme title, you know. Impressionable, you know. If he won it right here, I honestly wouldn't be 100% surprised. No. It'd be an upset, yeah, no doubt. Big C. Big C, Dave Dawson, and Backyard are all tied with the most title ones at five. And Backyard, it, I mean, he's got the winner of either you or Douglas next next show. So, are you are, do you do you not worry about the fact that you know who your first opponent would be if you were to win against Aaron later? Does that bother you or no? I think if you worry too much, it, uh, it, it, it veers you off the course that you want to be. The look ahead factor. Yes. Yeah, it, it, so I try not to worry too much about it because. Uh, you know, I'm a wrestler. Yeah. And Big good C. wrestlers yeah. just wrestle and, and just worry about the now. Yes. You know, I, I can't look too far. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're both great wrestlers. But it's it's just a fact. That Big C is hobbling over now, there. Yes, he is. Well, I mean, uh, Aaron Douglas, I mean, you gotta, I know you've defeated him before, but he's also defeated you. You guys are one and one against each other. Big hip toss. Bro. Or actually, um, I'm, it's, yeah, two and one Aaron Douglas' favor, so it's, this would be a great chance for you to settle the score with him tonight, today, whatever you want to call it. I'm, look, I'm definitely aiming and looking for my third heavyweight championship. What's still breaking. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing how many records you've broken, and, and the fact that you're still Dixie able Stunner. to come and close oh. to breaking few. Wait a minute. Oh, sleeper holds. Oh wow. Got a huge. Oh, and she's got him in the corner. Wow, what a way to get out of that. Splashing him. That's twice already. 
Bixby trying to hit that stunner. Oh, yeah, it looks like he might get it this time. Oh, and he got it. He's got to get to the cover. That's the whole thing. Got to get that cover. This might be it right it here. Too, it might be too much. It is over. He got it. Shrunken head, broken legs, body parts on the concrete. Cut him up, put the stab gators in the swamp. Red light, leave him dead, running like a track meet. Scared of nobody, let your motherfuckers run. Believe me when I tell him I'm a boogeyman beast. Leave them slash from their head to their feet. Impressive win by Big C getting his first screen title win. He's going to have bigger challenges, but that was a tough one. I get, again, I give it props to Taylor Mays. I think it's only a matter of time before he wins the championship all around here. The newest Triple Crown winner.